Good morning, good morning. Happy Friday to you. Yes, you made it through the week and good for you. Good for you. And you kept remembering what I've been saying through the week that you, uh, above those clouds, whether they're physical or mental, there is blue sky and you can reach through those clouds. Grab that blue sky and say, yes, I am going to have an amazing day. I do this every morning and you can see the energy that I have. All right, who am I? I am Kitty Anders with declutterthebrain.com, helping you go from clutter and overwhelm to calm, to confidence, to cash within 90 days or less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we work, we work quick here at Declutter the Brain. More about how we can uh, work together perhaps in uh, just a few minutes. But first, our content this week is all about decluttering your phone. Oh dear Lord. Yeah, I know. And some people have two or three phones. Uh, this is what you're looking at right now is my um, secondary phone, which I bought to record videos uh, about a year ago because at that point my old 6S was so chock-a-block and uh, I didn't even really know how to declutter it. So I, I took steps and I learned how and that's what we're sharing this week. Now, remember, not only is uh, all of this stuff that's on your phone taking up uh, physical storage, but it's also taking up unseen mental energy in your brain. There are ghosts in there. There are people that you, and just old memories, get rid of them. That's what we're doing. We're freeing it up for fresh energy. Um, yeah, so the first, of course, again, is photos and videos. You don't need 30 photos of the same, of the same event. Okay, you, do, you you know that you don't, and I know you took lots, so you make sure that you've got, you've got the nice ones. You know that you can delete uh, probably about three quarters of them. Now, if you don't have this, if you don't have the patient, I won't know which one to choose. Okay, then put them all on your computer, and you can take them from the computer onto the thumb drive if you need to, but just get them off your phone. Your phone is, is a small little device. Okay, even at 128 gigs, it's still small. All right, and make sure that you delete from the recently deleted album on your phone. Make sure you do that, otherwise you're you're clearing squat. Nothing, nothing is coming off there. <laughs> okay, now where do I know you from again? Yeah, the your contacts list. There are many people on there that you don't even know who they are, or they are old clients. They, they like just people you know that you don't want to talk to again. Actually, I I do talk to my old clients frequently. So, but there are people that you know that you don't want to talk to again or don't remember, just delete them. Also remember in your text messages, people will send photos. Those are taking up storage on your, on your phone that you didn't even know were taking up storage. Wednesday, we talked about what is other anyway. Other is generally something along the lines of cookies, uh, things that are dropped, that are left when you visit uh, websites, uh, like Facebook, for, for example. So how to get rid of those? Just delete, say for example, Facebook, and reinstall it right away. Guarantee you, you will free up at least one or two gigs off your phone just by doing that and go through the rest of the apps uh you know that you'll be able to reinstall the well, i don't know yes you will trust me they these apps stay around forever yesterday we talked about ah there you are number one uh organize those apps into categories i need categories i would categorize the cats if i had more than one all right i i need categories i need to have, be able to see especially if you're adhd neurodiverse you uh it's just makes it so much easier to be able to have all your games in one area or all of your social apps in one area and it feels good and it's kind of fun to drag and drop so uh, put and categorize your apps and delete what you can, please. You know that there are some that you deleted that looked like a wonderful idea at the time and you've never ever used them. I'm still guilty of that. 
I might need that gluten-free website. No, I can get it on the computer, okay? All right, take it from me. Today, one bite, B-Y-T-E, at a time, bit by bit. I know, I know, it's an overwhelming even thing to think of to declutter your phone. So, there are opportunities where, where you can do this. Say, for example, at the doctor's office, you're sitting there for, well, here it's quite a few hours, but uh, you're sitting at the doctor's office doing nothing. You can delete things then. If you're a passenger in a vehicle, perfect time. I used to do that with my father all the time because he wanted to concentrate on his driving. Hey, go mama, I'm deleting away or emails or anything like that and organizing. You just open your brain to the possibility to the universe that, there's, that there will be little pockets of time and that's all you need is maybe five minutes, not even. Uh, and waiting in line at the grocery store, you can do a couple then and it gives you that feeling of momentum and confidence that yes, I can. All right, now next week we are talking about, believe it or not, we are talking about declutter your Thanksgiving. You were, you were just the season. Until then, download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. The link is down below while you're there. Uh, book a quick and free call with me. I do take weekend calls. If you will direct message me on Facebook, then I you know, we can see what we can do about seeing you on the weekend to talk about how we can work together to get to get you decluttered faster than you ever thought possible and help you to keep it that way so that you can make all of that money that you know you deserve. Have a terrific weekend, everybody. Bye for now.